shattered land still. The shards are yet to be claimed. Some cloaked beyond view. Rise, O oh tarnished! Hi everyone, I thought I'd make a video of my blind first playthrough of Elden Ring by creating a massive elaborate- Hey man, what? What you said nine years ago really hurt my feelings. Huh? Don't let it happen again! Upon starting a new playthrough, I had two choices for a new character that I was interested in. I could play a samurai, or I could play a prisoner. I, of course, went with the John Elden Ring I'm gone and Scotland! I'm gonna fucking kill you! And so, after suffering a grave defeat, our hero ventures forth through these dank depths, fights off a godly beast, and ventures out into the world outside of this cave. The original plan for Limgrave was for me to go over how fucked up the start of the game is. How our protagonist meets Melina. I, Melina. Offer you. Yeah. Can you power me up? Can you give hey, me what's up? Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Cutting to the market fight. But I've been struggling with editing this for like a month now. So you know what? Fuck the pacing. Fuck it. Random ass dragon fight. All I have is a sword. You expect me to kill this thing? Hit it in the head, Tarnit. I'm trying. I'm fucking trying. Or fuck it. Random ass beautiful scenery time. The Siofra River is why I started to fall in love with the game. I didn't expect myself to be staring at such a beautiful sight so soon. The damp atmosphere, the dreamy setting, and that fucking clay enemy that I hate. John Elden Ring ascends and is met with yet another indescribable scene. The star-riddled cave ceiling, a restless, eternal city observing above. This was John Elden Ring's calling. Our hero sets forth, lighting a flame eight torches while avoiding various foes and those fucking rats that he hates. Hmm, what does this carcass do? The ancestral spirit isn't a hard boss, but wow is it, uh, sad. Really sad. Another aspect that the game revealed to me was that boss fights don't have to be all grand and high. They can be sad, beautiful, just a unique experience. Now, how would I top off one of the best moments in this game? By, of course, going to the CBT dungeon. Why can you unlock this in the starting area? Miyazaki's a handsome pastor. Why is this a thing? Why am I fighting this guy again? You have grown strong enough, John Hilton. Now, vanquish the fell omen. By this point of the game, I was confident enough to face Margaret again. Here I am. Okay, it's time. They may have died in the previous video, but the idea still lives on. I <laughs> welcome back the good squad. I welcome the first of many members, Zarius. A good so strong their presence makes the device fo fo false fate? What the fuck am I saying? How does it feel, Margaret? The unstoppable power of two, two holy knights in such a such a meager opponent. Let me be and dance in your blood. You are an actual lunatic. I'll be real with you, the entirety of Stormvale Castle felt like a fever dream. I don't remember any details besides a strong emotion that resonates with the location. Fear. You know what I don't associate with fear? The end point of the castle.
Caleb is an absolute hellhole. Going from Limbrave to this fucked up region was nothing short of being a shell shock from. You may be wondering, Blue, why didn't you go to Kale instead of Leonia? Easy, I like suffering. Caleb is a ginormous reel of the lowest points you could live through in this rotten region. It has those fucking drillers that I hate, those fucking wizards that I hate, Commander O'Neill, whom I hate, featuring a previous goon, and Shadow Wizard Money Gang, and Infinite Money Glitch. Unbound by any mortals or caution, John Elden Ring decides to mercy kill a scarlet rot riddled ancient dragon by, by abusing Bleed? Fuck you, John Elden Ring! Hey guys, John Elden Ring here. First of all, fuck the narrator. This is not their story, it's mine. I'll show you things my way. After I was burdened with richness and incredible power, I went to this giant tower climbed it and encountered this jackass. Uh -huh. If I was an even cooler protagonist, how would I defeat this guy? I could go for side dash, b-hop, sword swing, or I could dodge roll, goon slide, what the fuck is this? Besides all of that suffering, the main attraction of Caleb is the Red Main Castle. This place is a complete nightmare. Getting there is already a giant hurdle. Not even the mightiest of a good slide air dash can make this a breeze. Once inside, guess what? Even more suffering. There's General Rodan's knights that put you on fire and pull off insanely sick moves just to slaughter you. Or there's an abductor virgin for which I have absolutely oh, fuck, zero again. fucking words for. But once you've got past all that, guess what? A boss fight against a misbegotten warrior. The misbegotten warrior proved to be a bit of a challenge, but learning his... Oh, 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 what? What? What the fuck is that? This is the worst joke I've encountered in Elden Ring. Killing the misbegotten warrior became easy to me. But the knight? I had to learn how to parry in order to kill them. Parrying in Elden Ring seemed like an impossibility to me, and yet... I'm gonna fucking kill you! Unfortunately, after beating the bosses of this dungeon, I was heart gated. Usually, after completing Leonia, this chungy little guy starts to run dance festival. For the sake of pacing and my sanity, we shall skip forward to it. And before we skip forward, I should be temporarily filling in for the blue guy after he turned terminally ill due to watching the Joker 2. What the fuck? The fight against General Radan feels like a raid, which I mean in the best way possible. Fighting this ginormous husk with various summons and Sir Galen Height is the second most cinematic thing from the entire game. Once the party has dealt enough damage, General Radan decides to peace out and leave the- Why do they call it oven when you oven the cold food? Just kidding, he's hurling himself back towards the- Oh my towards god, what the job. fuck, bro? There's never been a game in which I haven't been as afraid of floating rocks as I have been here. Radan's second phase is quite terrifying, but thankfully, I somehow survived all of this. You, Mr. Nuna, blue guy! No problem, Mr. Elden Ring. Alright, Tarnished, listen up. The powers that be have temporarily abandoned our realm. We shall be questing upon my directions. Go. First, Mr. Elden Ring, you must defeat a giant lobster, what? converse with an ancient being, oh, vanquish God. yet another dragon, Why are there explore so many, many decrepit them? dungeons, and then Sympathy. annihilate a mentally ill woman! What the fuck?
<laughs> it seems that comic justice has sprung upon our hero. How delightful. Are you going to be bad today, then, to little scare for my story? In fact, I do not. I am here to deliver the second part of your punishment. Divine Retribution. The Four Peltries. The crumbling Faramazula fed to the Beastmen. I could take two Pharaohmen any day. A glimpse into the sky's abyss, facing a crucible night. You really think this round earth stands a chance against my pinfoil hat? And your provenience, John Elden Ring, the very crafted scion that smited you. This time, I'll make sure to really fucking kill you! Wow, all of that kind of helped me grow. Huh. Thank you, Mr. Narrator. And I don't give me credit. The road ahead is long and arduous yet. Oh shit, he's coming back. Bye bye for now, John. Wait, who do you mean? Leonia! Oh, Leonia. I very much adore this region. It's very magical. Unlike Limgrave or the hellhole that Caleb is, Leonia actually has you exploring beautiful and majestic sceneries. And as you've seen earlier, fighting giant lobsters. Leonia is also home to the one and only 5G infected civilization of the lands between. As you've heard the Finger Maiden say earlier, our main goal here is to beat some sense into a mentally ill woman. And where would we be able to find her? That's right, in Hogwarts. Was that transition line too hard? It could have gone harder. Anyway, this is One John versus 20 Burger King Sorcerers. Yeah, what's up everyone? Um, welcome back to Elden Ring. I grind a bit off screen and now we're here at the Rare Man, Lucaria. what the hell are you still doing in this call? You've been here for like yeah, seven I've hours. I've been playing Elden Ring. Oh my, dude, when's the last time you drank any water? Can you, can dude, you feel I'm, your I'm own just voice? gonna finish this part and then go to bed, okay, No, no, this is, this is not healthy. What, just, isn't just it like, like 5 a.m.? minutes, I, you're not my you fucking should, You mom. should go to bed, what, like, what now. Fuck? Okay, no, fuck that, go to bed. <laughs> Man, it's not like you have a- Look, Tarnished, it's Clifford. Oh, what the fuck? Try again, get Tarnished. It's trying to kill me! This displeases me. You cannot pet the dog. Downvote negative karma, not wholesome 100 Keanu Chungus. In other news, the Rey Lucaria sorcerers are trying to cancel John Elden Ring. And after all of that, we get to parkour around the facility a bit. Though, obviously, we still have to tend to our main goal here, which is... <laughs> oh! That's nasty. As I was saying, our main goal. Go forth, John Elden Ring. Do your thing. Hey, hey this place looks nasty. I lowkey fuck with. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Whilst Radan's fight was very cinematic, this one is really awesome. Actually, cinematic doesn't sound right, but it is a very beautiful fight. Once you've killed enough of her children, Anala's shield drops and you get to bash her down for a good time. Oh my god, the fog is coming. Out of your friends, which are you? Truck freak crazy ass. Anala's second phase is quite the hydrogen bomb. Starring an even prettier arena to beat her down in. Well, that wasn't too bad. Hey guys, John Elderman here. I just wanted to give a quick update that, you know, we've made up. No more fighting. The mental illness is gone. Kind of. Hi everyone, ignore the difference in my voice, I'm back from CBT therapy. This video should not have taken 3 months to make, I originally wanted to cover the entirety of Elden Ring in one video but... Yeah, you can see how that went. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, if you'd like me to continue the series, do let me know, I had a lot of fun editing this. Until then, I shall be dead cocking out of my mind, bye bye.